To the final whistle then and today we're going to react to my championship table predictions for the championship 23-24 as we look back from what I predicted from the start of the season and see how well I did um, I might have made myself look a bit daft to be honest and uh, yeah some I got right I think I got three right um, in the Predictions, um, Watford finishing uh, 15th, uh, Plymouth finishing 21st. And of course, I backed Leicester City to go all the way and win the league. And they did exactly that. So what we're going to do in this um, stream then is go and look back what I predicted and how things actually ended up at the end of the season. So um, we're going to start from... The I tell you what, we'll start with the team that finished at the bottom, Rotherham United. Um, I predicted 22nd for Rotherham, so I did predict them to be relegated. Um, they actually finished 24th, so yeah, a bit one of them for Rotherham this season where they didn't win an away game at all. Um, they had Obviously, numerous of managers in Richardson, um, Steve Evans and co. And, uh, yeah, things just didn't go right for Rotherham United. And they was one of my favourites to go down this season. Um, squad, the squad itself, um, yeah, didn't really compete well in the championship this season, did it? And uh, things didn't go well for Rotherham, uh, to be honest. And, uh yeah, they finished 24th, so I ended up getting that prediction wrong. Um, but the next one is Huddersfield Town. Um, started the season with Neil Warnock. Um, they did end up bringing Darren Moore in, and then he ended up leaving, and then they ended up bringing another manager in um, to obviously finish the season off. And, uh, yeah, Huddersfield... Um, two years ago, I think it was, they finished in the playoffs. And um, before that, there was a bit um, around that sort of area. I did predict them to finish 19th. I predict them to stay up. They actually ended up getting relegated to League One this season. Um, yeah, not the greatest of seasons for this field town. And um, yeah, battling relegation battle for most of the season and um yeah not really great on and off the pitch to be fair for Huddersfield and um relegation it was um Birmingham City I predicted them to finish 18th um they actually finished 22nd and ended up going down to League One um John Eustace Ended up getting sacked, um, even though Birmingham was in the top six in the championship. Uh, they was doing all right, Birmingham. And then they brought in Wayne Rooney and it all went downhill from there. Um, yeah, numerous of managers this season for Blues. And uh, yeah, things just didn't go right for Blues at all. And yeah, Rooney's time at uh, Birmingham. Um, yeah, not good at all. Um they did bring in Tony Mowbray. Um, obviously, he did f fall ill. Um, so, I do hope he gets well soon. But then they brought in Gary Rowers in Trump until the end of the season. But it just wasn't enough to say Blues. Um, not great in most of the games they played in the second half of the season. They did end up winning on the last day against uh, Norwich City. But it just wasn't enough for Blues. And... Um, 
They've been around that area for the last few years, haven't they? Birmingham in the last few seasons in the championship. And uh, this time, yeah, they kind of paid the price and ended up going down. And um, yeah, it's not a season you want to remember, to be fair. Um, Plymouth, the newly promoted from League One. Obviously, the one League One, the season before the championship this season. Uh, predicted 21st. And they actually fin finished 21st. I mean, they went through a few um, appointments, didn't they? Obviously, things didn't go well after Stephen Schumacher left. Uh, they did start the season off well under Stephen Schumacher, but yeah, it didn't really go well under Ian Foster, did it, for Plymouth. Obviously, Morgan Whitaker banging in the goals, you know, um, a £1 million signing for them and... Uh, yeah, he's done wonders since um, signing there. Um, Morgan Whitaker, and he really did well in the championship, you know. And uh, yeah, the real star man. And uh, they did manage to beat Hall City one goal to nil on the last day of the season. And they stayed up. So I got my prediction right for Plymouth. I knew they'd be in and around that area to start off with. Um, but they ended up coming out and staying up. Um, which was the main thing for Plymouth Argyle. Um, yeah, Sheffield Wednesday uh, predicted 24th for them. They actually did finish 20th. Um, when I did predict Sheffield Wednesday, the chaos with Chanziri and the second of Darren Moore. And yeah, you didn't really know what was happening with Sheffield Wednesday. I think the 12, 13 games, they didn't really have many points to show for it. Um not the greatest start of the season for Sheffield Wednesday with everything going on and off the pitch. Um, Danny Roll comes in and what a job Danny Roll done for Sheffield Wednesday. One of the greatest escapes in championship history, Sheffield Wednesday. And hats off to Danny Roll. Um, done a real good job there and they really turned it around and, yeah, they showed real fire to real character and stayed up and finished 20th. So, Yes, yeah, Sheffield Wednesday will now be looking to, of course, finish high next season. And uh, if they can keep hold of Danny Rowe, and yeah, I think they'll do all right next season with Sheffield Wednesday for me. And uh, the next one, Blackburn Rovers. I actually predicted Blackburn to finish 11th this season. Um, actually, they finished 19th. Um, Last season, they was like competing for like the playoff sort of push, wasn't it? Um, this season didn't really go well for them, did it under John Dole Thomason and then um, John Eustace come in. And yeah, they was really battling relegation and um, yeah, not great season for Blackburn Rovers, but they managed to scave her away and uh, stay up. Um, Blackburn on the final day and uh, Sammy Smodic's massive influence on that squad I believe he scored 80% of their goals this season, the championship top scorer um, and what a season Sammy Smodic's had and Blackburn Rovers managed to stay up and they'll be playing championship football again next season um, next one, Queen's Park Rangers um, I predicted them to finish 23rd. They did finish 18th. Um, QPR, yeah, didn't really go well in the sum of QPR, did it? The season um, in the first half of the season didn't go great for Queen's Park Rangers under Gareth Ainsworth. Um, he ended up getting the sack and then Sifientes come in and what a job Sifientes did at Queen's Park Rangers. Um, Jack Colback and Steve Cook offered real experience to QPR this season and uh, Elias Chair, another one who really played an influence in Queen's Park Rangers staying up and Sifientes has done a right good job at QPR and keeping them up and yeah that was one that I was kind of unsure at the start of the season to how QPR would actually start but um, yeah QPR Staying up and finished 18th. Um, Stoke City. I mean, I was minus one off on them. I did predict them 16th. Um, they finished 17th. And uh, yeah, Alex Neal. I mean, 
the transfer window looked bright for Stoke with the players that they brought in and that. They looked strong in the transfer window in the in the summer and that. Um, and Alex Neal, it just didn't go to plan, did it for him? Um, th- this season just gone for Stoke and uh, did him brought in um, Stephen Schumacher and yeah, things didn't really go to plan. They did pick up a few results at the back end of the season and they did manage to stay up Stoke City after a really poor run of form. Um, But yeah, they finished um, quite well, to be honest, 17th. I mean, Stephen Schumacher will, of course, have a job to do in the summer, of course, and uh, potentially go and bring in the right players. I don't think Stoke have been higher than 14th or so in the last few years, so... It's one that Schumacher will look at and um, target to finish even higher next season. So, Sunderland are my next one. I mean, after finishing in the playoffs um, the season before this one, um, I predicted them to finish eighth. Um, Actually, they finished 16th. So, I was eight places off Sunderland downwards. Um, I mean, Tony Mowbray. Ended up leaving uh, Sunderland. They did bring in Michael Beale. Not the ideal appointment, if you ask Sunderland fans. It was. It looked like doom and gloom for Sunderland from the off with Michael Beale. And uh, yeah, things just didn't go great. Um, I mean, Jack Clark did score a few goals this season for Sunderland, but yeah, they they kind of scathed away as the season went on. Sunderland and. Um, but they did manage to get enough points. Uh, I think they finished on 50-odd points. So, yeah, Sunderland. Um, yeah, they'll be looking for a new manager in the summer, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, I have to wait and see on that one. Um, next one is Watford. I predicted Watford to finish 15th. Um, they did actually finish um, 15th. Ismail did start really well off at Watford. He did, uh, but then he it kind of scaved it away. They offered him a new, was it a new contract and that? And um, yeah, after that, it didn't really go well for Watford, did it? Um, Watford, some real good players, to be fair, in bio and that. And um, yeah, they, they've got a very good young, some young players at Watford. Um, Tom Cleverley did ended up taking over though at the back end of the season. Um, they did pick up some a few draws in that Watford, but I think next season they'll look to really finish higher under Tom Cleverley's full season in charge of Watford boss. Um, but yeah, 50 Watford uh, predicted that one well, and I'm happy with that one. I predicted one well, so yeah. Next one it didn't really go to plan for me, and uh, I don't know what I was thinking with this one. Um, I mean, I think I'll be too optimistic regarding Swansea City. Um, Predicted seventh, actually finished 14th. Um, Michael Duff, I mean, yeah, he ended up getting the boot um, this season. Then they brought in Luke Williams, the, um, I believe he was the former Notts County manager. And uh, yeah, Swansea... I think they're there in a bats where they where they should be. To be fair, um, I was a bit probably um, too optimistic on the Swans, but yeah, Matty Grimes um, he did really well. Um, they obviously brought in Ronaldo as well um, in January, and uh, he turned out to be a decent player for them. Ronaldo and uh, so yeah, Swansea for me, um, yeah, too optimistic in my opinion on how I predicted Swansea, but yeah, that's one that hit me right in the face. Um, but moving on, Millwall um, predicted 10th after how they did um, the season before the this season. Um, actually finished 13th. Millwall was in like a relegation battle uh, this season, of course. Um, Gary Rower ended up getting the sack. Joe Edwards come in, he got the sack. And then they brought in Neil Harris and Neil Harris steadied the ship. Neil Harris really picked up this Millwall side and they started to really kick on and win games and they picked up some real 
big wins and some real influential wins in keeping them up and scavering them way from the relegation battle. And they really finished the season off strongly, Millwall. And uh, yeah, next season, Neil Harris will look to finish even stronger and even higher in the table. And um, yeah, really get Millwall going next season. So yeah, they did well in the second um half of the season when Neil Harris took over and uh, yeah, some real important wins for Millwall. Um, predicted 20th for Cardiff City. Um, they actually finished 12th, to be fair. I believe they had a transfer sort of embargo, didn't they, at some point. Um, Aaron Ramsey did okay. It starts in, then the injury started coming again. Um, yeah, Errol Bullard did okay with the squad that he got. I think Cardiff fans would have been happy um, around how they finished the season, to be fair. Um, I think I predicted them too low, to be honest. I think maybe I could have gone a bit higher with Cardiff, but it is what it is. Um, that's why I say I look daft um, in predicting them there. But um, yeah, they did um, pick up some big results this season. Um, it's with uh, Cardiff. Um, picking up the ones over Southampton, over of course Ipswich Town, which I was about to say. So, yeah, um, Errol Bullet next season. I think he'll be a busy man in this transfer window coming up in the summer. So, um, yeah, they finished quite well, Cardiff, uh, from what I predicted. Um, Bristol City predicted 14th for them. Um, they actually finished 11th. Um, a strong season for Bristol City, to be fair, this one. Uh, they did start off really well under Nigel Pearson this season. They was in the top nine of the championship. And you think, you know what, could could Bristol City really go and surprise a few? And then there was a mixed bag of results. Nigel Pearson ended up leaving. And then Liam Manning come in and he had to really get the squad together and really galvanise it and really push on the um Bristol City did finish off well uh this season I think they are where they wanted to be sort of this season and next season they'll look to like I say improve even further in the table but yeah um quite a steady finish for Bristol City um next one Preston North End predicted 17th um actually they finished 10th I think this one for me was you're not really sure what you're going to get with Preston North End. And um, I think, to be fair, they really started the league off well. They led the championship um, at one point at the start of the season. They really started off well. Then they went downhill again. Then Ryan Lowe was really under pressure. And then he started to pick up again. And at the end of the season, they kind of like fell off a little bit. In it and... Uh, yeah, they ended up finishing 10th and um, I think it's a kind of good position for Preston to finish there and how the table went um, during the season for them. Obviously, Will Keane, um, Alan Brown and that really influential for uh, Preston North End this season. And uh, yeah, one that Ryan Lowe will, of course, look to finish higher for next season. Um, next one is Coventry City. Another side who finished on the playoffs um, the season before this one. Um, I predicted fourth for the Sky Blues. Um, that was way before the lights of Hamer left and um, Yoker X. Um, yeah, Hadji Wright has done um, quite well in the second half of the season. Um, then you had Ellis Stims as well. The partnership looked like they were banging in gold for fun in the second half of the season. Coventry were on like a sort of roll. And then after the Man United game, they kind of like dropped off a bit and uh, results didn't go the way they sort of panned out. Um, didn't really start the season off well, though, did the Coventry under Mark Robbins. But Mark Robbins really sort of galvanised that squad together and really started to pick up... Um, yeah, good coach, Mark Robbins, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, they done well uh, to finish where they did in the end. Um, next one is Middlesbrough. I did predict them to finish in the playoffs. Uh, third, actually, they finished eighth. Um, yeah, not the... I think it was like a playoff hangover for Middlesbrough at the start of the season. Um 
didn't really start off well. Um, ended up selling True Brat Pom to Ajax, and uh, yeah, they had to really find a real striker who could bang in the goal for them. They took some time to get going, Borough this season. The season just gone, and uh, yeah, didn't really go well. Foot on the table, and things pressure was on Michael Carrick, but he managed to really turn that around in second half of the season. They went on a good run. I think it was nine, nine, ten games of beaten. And uh, yeah, what a run it was at Middlesbrough. Looked like they was really pushing on. Um, Latte Laugh was banging in the goals. Uh, Jones was as well. And um, yeah, Sammy Greenwood, um, I think he did well for Borough in the season as well. And Michael Carrick really finished off strongly. And uh, next season, he'll look to finish, start strong this season. Um, coming up in the 24-25 season to come. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, see what happens in Middlesbrough. Um, Hull City, I predicted 12th. Um, I wasn't really sure how to predict Hull. Um, they actually did finish 7th. They finished five places higher than I thought they would. Um, yeah, started the season off okay. Um Liam Delap in the goals. Um, then Phil Jean, um, he was a, he was kind of a bit of a miss, wasn't he, at the first half of the season? Uh, they ended up bringing Carvalho in. They had a big January haul and uh, they really pushed on. Didn't really pick up the results at home is what they expected. Too many draws. Um, maybe they left it a tad late for the playoffs, but... Yeah, Philogene and uh, Carvalho have been real fantastic this season. Two fun as well. Uh, really influential for Hall. And um, yeah, they're players who have really done well for Hall and uh, they've picked up some really good results this season. Um, I'd say they've been better away from home than they have at home this season, Hall. So, yeah, it's one that they'll obviously look for a new manager now, won't they, after uh, the sacking of Liam Rossini. So, yeah, they really need a, a manager now who can really kick this team on and, um, yeah, finish that one place high next season, which I'm sure they'll have an eye on the playoffs for sure. So, that's to wait and see on that one. But, yeah, Hull actually finished seventh. And, yeah, I, I think I were a bit off, but, yeah, it were okay. Um, next one, prediction for um, Norwich was, I predicted ninth and they finished sixth. Um, yeah, I've got two numbers mixed up there, but it doesn't matter. We go. Um, yeah, Norwich, very good start to the season. They look very good at home. Um, I mean, ninth is where I'd put them. I wasn't really sure on Norwich, but on paper, they had a squad to finish in the playoffs. Um, I mean, Sergeant were out for a bit with injury, wouldn't he? But he come back and banging in the goals. Um, Sarah, what a player he was this season. Johnny Rowe um, having a go. And, uh, yeah, what what um, performances they picked up in the second half of the season. Uh, David Wagner, um, yeah, was under pressure for a bit, wasn't he, with results not going their way. And, uh, yeah, it looked like they were really struggling at one point where yeah they looked over their shoulder in like a in like the relegation battle sort of thing and you're thinking hold on a minute uh but he did turn it around David Wagner and what a finish they had to the season and uh yeah fully deserved playoffs in the end and uh yeah we then move on to West Brom I predicted West Brom 13 they actually did finish fifth um, I wasn't sure with West Brom. I made myself look daft again. Um, eight places higher, and um, yeah, not great. Not great is when I predicted West Brom. Um, things off the field wasn't great at the start of the season. Um, but Carlos Gorbrahan with the squad that he's got, I don't think he even spent any money, did he, Carlos Gorbrahan? Um, and what? A job he's done with a squad that he had. And, uh, yeah, they really 
proved me wrong this season. West Brom and they got ended up getting in the playoffs and what a season Carlos Carl Brown has done. Um, they did end up going on with having one of the best defences in the league. And uh, yeah, what a season Carlos Carl Brown has had at West Brom and what a head coach he is. And uh, to get the job done with minimal resources that he had is a job well done to Carlos Carl Brown and his, and his staff. And uh yeah, West Brom will obviously look to finish this season on a real high and eye up a spot in the Premier League for next season. So, um, Southampton is the next one. I did predict Southampton sixth this season. I wasn't really sure on seats. Um, Russell Martin did not start the season off well. They actually did go on and finish fourth, though, Southampton. They did go on that 25-game unbeaten run. What a run. Um that is absolutely incredible. And, um, yeah, what what an achievement. 25 games unbeaten. It takes some real going. Um, they went on that run after not really starting off the season well. Um, end of the season was a bit mixed bag results for Saints. Um, I think fourth also was already on the cards, to be honest. Uh, the playoff spots and that. Um they did make a little late push, putting the pressure on and making it a bit more of a um, top three battle for the promotion to making it a top four. But yeah, they ended up scavering off in the end. And uh, yeah, they ended up finishing in the playoffs in fourth. Um, Leeds United are my next ones. Uh, predicted second for Leeds. Actually, they finished third. Leeds took time to start this season off. Um, they took time to find a new manager, bring in players and that. And uh, you could say Leeds was a slow burner, to be honest. Um, they started off um, not well, but they really started to kick on, didn't they? Leeds and uh, Somerville, influential Um Rutter as well, Dan James, them sort of players really helped Leeds. Um, Ampadu, you know, he was doing a good midfield job for Leeds. He ended up doing both jobs. He ended up doing defence as well in the in the season that went on. 2024, they went on unbeaten at the start. Um, but then after the international break, they ended up really dropping off Leeds. I thought, you know what, they could really be on for top two. Uh, but yeah, results didn't really go well. Uh, defeats to Queen's Park Rangers, Blackburn, um, really dropping points. Leeds United against Coventry and that as well. And uh, Leeds, yeah, was one of my top two picks, but I was only one off for that, so I've, I've done all right with it. But yeah, they do go on and fight in the playoffs, and uh, yeah, it's Daniel Farker's. First time, I think it is, in the playoffs uh, push. I know with Norwich, he obviously had two promotions. Um, obviously winning the championship with Norwich City, but playoffs is it's going to be a challenge. And uh, I think that's one that Daniel Falk will fully take on and go head on with. Um, yeah, Somerville, really good. Archie Gray, another one, 18 years old, and he's had a very good season as well. And... Uh, yeah, some very good players there. And, uh, yeah, at the end, it just fell off, didn't they? Um, Ipswich Town is the next one. I predicted Ipswich to be um, around the playoffs this season. Um, they was my dark horses. They actually finished second. What a season Kieran McKenna's had. Hats off to Kieran McKenna. What a season the guys had. Back-to-back uh, -back promotions, I believe, the last side to do that. To have back-to-back -back promotions from the League One's Championship to the Prem was Nigel Adkins at Southampton. So I think Southampton were the last side to do it. But what a season Kieran McKenna and his squad have had. Some some real se unreal season, to be fair. And, um, yeah, huge credit to them as they went on and got promoted after 22 years without Premier League football, Ipswich. And, um, yeah, they'll be really happy this season and fully deserve the celebrations as well. And, uh, yeah, their squad has real togetherness and, uh, yeah, it's fighting until the end, as I'm saying, yeah, they fully deserve to be promoted this season. So, yeah, I was, um, I was quite happy with 
my prediction for Ipswich, but yeah, they managed to finish um, three places higher. Um, my next one was Leicester City. I did predict the Foxes to finish first. Um, and yeah, Leicester did end up finishing first, champions of the championship. What a season Enzo Moresco and the squad had. Um, Keenan Jewsbury, what a fantastic player he turned out to be this season. Led Leicester back to the Premier League. Uh, Jamie Vardy, 18 goals for the Foxes this season. Um, I was quite high hopes with the Foxes this season and why I predicted them to finish um, top of the table. Um, they did bring in some very good players in Harry Winks this season who has been very influential. He's been that real super glue um, in that midfield role. Um, Ricardo, another player who's been fantastic. Uh, Abdul Fatawu as well, who's really done well away since coming in from loan from Sporting Lisbon. And yeah, the squad as a whole has it's been really fantastic this season. And hats off to Enzo Maresca. And back to the Premier League, the Foxes go after the first time of asking. So that is my championship predictions then from the start of the season to now. Um, yeah, some of them didn't really go to plan. Some of them did, but uh, we will be doing this again next season as we go and predict the championship again for 24-25. So, um, so, yeah, let me know what your thoughts have been on this. Let me know where you predicted your team to finish at the start. And, yeah, let me know how you guys did and how many you got correct as well to how teams finish. But, um, guys, as always, hit the like button if you've enjoyed this stream. Subscribe to the channel as well. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed to the final whistle, please go and do so. It helps, helps out massively. Uh, take care, everyone. Goodbye for now. And keep it here at the final whistle. Hi, all. Thank you for watching the final whistle. If you enjoy all our content, please remember to smash a like, share and subscribe to the channel.